Law Career Services presents Networking. Today we will be discussing who to network with, what networking is, why to network, and how to network. Let's start with who is in your network. Your network consists of people who you already know from college, the community, co-workers, and civic organizations. People at Santa Clara University, including professors, other students, and administrators, and Santa Clara Law alumni. There are about 11,000 alumni worldwide and 5 to 6,000 in the Bay Area. Networking simply means talking and connecting with people who share your professional and or personal interests. It results in the sharing of ideas, opportunities, and information. One of the most important reasons for job seekers to network is because only 20 to 25 percent of all jobs are formally advertised. That means you will only find out about the unadvertised position through word of mouth. Other reasons to network include conducting career exploration, creating a strategy for your job search, getting mentored and developing professional skills, and finally, enjoying working with people who you've gotten to know. In order to network, first begin by maintaining contact with your existing network. Develop a list of 10 to 20 contacts to whom you need to remain connected. Update them on your life and ask to reconnect. Second, identify other professionals with whom you want to connect. Some of the tools to identify other professionals include the Law Career Services LinkedIn Group, the Santa Clara Law Alumni LinkedIn Group, Martin Del Hubble, Bar Associations, Student Organizations, the Career Pathway Guides, and Law Career Services Panels and Networking Events. In order to meet new professionals in your network, first, ask. Send an email introducing yourself. If there's no response, follow up with a phone call. A sample email requesting a meeting might say something like, Dear Jason, I am a first year law student at Santa Clara Law. I enjoyed reading the description of your trademark practice on LinkedIn. I want to learn more about this area of law and would appreciate 20 minutes to talk about your career path. Are you available in the next three weeks to speak? Please let me know what would be the most convenient for you. Thank you for considering this request. If you get an informational interview, go prepared with a list of questions. Your goal is to build a relationship, not immediately getting a job or a job offer, even though you ultimately want that to happen. Second, have a conversation. Third, prepare questions that you will ask the person that you're having the informational interview with. These include questions like, how did you begin your career? What led you to your present experience? What skills do I need to develop as a student? And what do you find most or least rewarding about your position? After the in informational interview, be grateful, thank your contact for their time, and ask for referrals. All you have to ask is to whom else should I reach out? Finally, ask for permission. May I have your permission to use your name when I contact them? Just as important as building your network is maintaining your network. And there's three steps to do this. First, record your contacts, the dates when you met, and the content of conversation. Second, schedule a date to follow up. Third, send a short follow-up with a message, referring to an area of mutual interest or giving an update on your status. For example, a sample follow-up message may say, Hi Deborah, I'm approaching the end of my internship at the court. It's been great working with the judge and I believe that I will be a better trial attorney as a result of this experience. Thank you for the advice leading to this internship. I hope to run into you one day at the courthouse. We wish you the best of luck with your networking and your job search. Please make sure to visit with one of the career advisors if you have specific questions on your job search strategy.